Good evening. Unions at one of Scotland's leading engineering firms say they have been told that there is no money to pay 1,400 workers their wages this week. Emergency talks have taken place in Fife to try to secure the future of Bifab, which builds large-scale equipment for the oil and gas and renewables industries. The company has warned it's on the verge of appointing administrators. Lisa Summers reports. They've been told there's no money to pay them, but a shift ends tonight. The workers here in Burnt Island and in Bifab's two other plants have agreed to carry on for now. We are just working as normal at the moment till we've, we've got 10 days to find out what's happening. And how do you feel about it all? Oh, it's just, uh, it shouldn't happen to a yard like this. The company was forced to initiate an intention to appoint administrators last week because of a critical cash problem. At a series of meetings today, the unions agreed with the workforce that production would continue. The decision of the workforce is quite clear. What they have said today is that uh, they will now be in a working, they will be maintaining the gates, nothing will come in or out of the yards without the Joint Shop Shield's approval. The question is quite clear that 70% uh, of the work has been done in this contract and we don't want to see that being taken away. Bifab was seen as a leading example of a company that could seamlessly move from old to new, turning engineering expertise gathered in the offshore oil and gas sector and using it to build renewable equipment. The company employs 1,400 workers in Fife and also at Arnish in the Western Isles. Just last year it was awarded a lucrative contract worth £100 million to build equipment for the Beatrice Wind Farm in the Murray Firth. The company says the financial crisis stems from problems with its contractors. The unions say they were told a multi-million pound sum had not been paid. In the meantime, the government says it will work with the company to help. Hopefully a deal can be uh, brokered, um, but it will require um, you know, very intense work over the next few days uh, to try and reach a position where we can uh, secure the future of the, the company. For now, the workforce are backing their employer, staying on in an effort to secure a long-term future.